Hey friends, welcome to my TuTube channel, where nothing truly amazing ever happens. Anyway, uh, here we are. Really cool circuit over at electroschematics.com. Okay. Light sensor circuit. And I've been posting some comments on there. I've overcome a few problems. See, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take this from a 220 mains optocoupler triac based circuit down to a 12 volt circuit. So, here I have my circuit. Basic overview I'll do a little bit of a scan around so sort of see where stuff is and where stuff isn't so these are how I have it set up <coughs> transistor T2 okay is that one and then in the center the one you see in the center there is actually um, T4 which is over here now T5 and 4 okay T5 and four there and there the collector on T5 sends its output through this 680 ohm resistor into this LED and then that passes you can see in my diagram here I have it envisioned going through a relay which isn't really necessarily going to happen but what I'm telling you now is that I have a LED in there much like in the original circuit which I'll show you on the website here over in this section here that's your 680 ohm resistor to the positive side of an LED which is integral to that optocoupler right Anyway, what I did was I ran it on 12 volts and then at the suggestion, first of all I fried a couple of resistors and had a couple of minor smoke outs and uh, so now I've replaced everything. There's every, all the components are brand new, like the transistors and the, and the IC. And I double checked all my resistors, I double checked all my breadboard connections. So what I have going on, basically, in terms of, you know, just diagnosing the circuit, uh, for I, I, I tried a 6.2, see I don't have the actual 5.6 uh, volt Zener, okay? But I do have the right capacity. I have the uh, one microfarad, the 105. Um, across the the rail, which is right here, one microfarad, and then there's also another one here, a 104, which is 100 nanofarad, and that's this guy here. Now in the circuit he responded to a thing that I had said pin 16 was not tied high it's not powered but he added a, uh, a connection from here over to here I think he put it on the on the diagram you can see from A over to A over there okay so that's been solved the IC power 
I've done a couple of checks to make sure that my potentiometer is running properly that I'm getting the right types of resistance across there I made sure that this one mega ohm resistor is in fact a one mega ohm resistor because that would make a pretty big difference right right here I double checked that this whole network goes all through here before it ties to ground now that is something that I'm not sure about see like when you look at this that isn't necessarily ground because there's no connection right here and that has me a little bit suspicious anyway I really don't know what to say I mean I got when I measure my power was 200 ohms current limiting on the input um, when I check the voltage across say uh, if I go from my positive like basically my voltage across my Zenier diode is 5.16 and it's a 5.1 volt Zenier so I have you know pretty close to the the voltage that I should be getting in there when I um, when I change the meter over here to uh, like an ammeter and I go in the 200 milliohm or milliamp scale let's say and then I uh, supply with some current here um, I'm getting a draw of around 36 milliamps 36 milliamps uh, input okay so nothing's you know crazy crazy or nothing yet when I adjust my potentiometer um, under no circumstances can I get that thing to light like uh, you know kill all the root see what should happen is is that LED should come on in the dark and then stay on for a set amount of time basically um, see I'm basically in the dark here and uh, you know no matter how I set that potentiometer with the circuit live that LED never comes on which tells me that um, it tells me that it's not working but then again you know I wonder well how exactly does this triac work like does it conduct and then and then the LED if the LED isn't on you know exactly how does that work I mean should I be getting current during operation or is it when the time has passed the LED would come on and that would shut off the flow of a track I guess I'm gonna have to look and, and, and research and, and figure out what is really supposed to happen here whether during runtime I should be seeing that LED lit or it's only when it shuts off that it, it, it would be lit I don't know I'm you know I'm assuming that the LED needs to be lit for there to be current passing through uh, the AC side of that uh, optic coupler track thing alright thanks